Hi, I'm Tad Carpenter, designer, illustrator, and believer in the power of print. I'm traveling the globe with Kodak to see how commercial printers are making choices that are good for the world, good for print, and good for business. This is Press On. You're in my town now. Welcome to Kansas City, Missouri. So this is actually 18th and Vine District. A lot of people talk about barbecue. The best in the world, right here, Kansas City. This is Carpenter Collective, our design studio, and this is where we make what we make. We do all kinds of work. We do a ton of posters, but probably some of the work that means the most to me is some of the children's books I've authored and illustrated. Kodak's got a real commitment to literacy as well. I'm working with them right now on a poster that can promote book drives and educational events. We're heading to Houston to print it with a company called Dispro. They've got a Kodak Nexpress that is perfect for these customizable short runs. Apparently, it does great for their business too. It's time to find out how. We're going to press on. All right, let's talk Dispro. They're an independent business founded right here in Houston. Like a lot of printers, they started off in traditional offset. But what I'm wondering is what's behind them adding digital? And ultimately, how are they printing for their customers now? I'm psyched to be printing my poster here with Dispro. The bread and butter's always been offset printing. Sure. We still have the presses we started with. Oh man, you can smell that ink. Yeah, it smells, it smells so good, don't it? Oh. Technology has grown so fast. Back when I ran a press, I had to run all over that thing. I had to pin wrench, move plates. You know, I tease them all the time. Back back when I ran a press, I had, I had, I, I had, I had to, to walk to there. school with no shoes exactly. on, uphill, both, yeah. both, yeah. both yeah. ways. Yeah. Yeah. How do you stay relevant in a modern, changing world? It's constantly upgrading and staying with the trends of what customers are wanting. I started having clients and they started asking, hey, we got, uh, we need 50 copies or we need uh, 75 of these books. Low and runs. It, low runs. You can't do it inexpensively on offset. And I just didn't like the idea of turning them away. So we said, you know what, let's, let's see what we can do. And uh, it's been, what, around 04, we decided to uh, jump out into uh, digital. Yeah. And it just took off from there. Our main machine in here is the Next Press. I've had too many of them. What is it, Paxton? It's the next press, that's next 3300. 3, this is one of my technicians, actually. This is my grandson. Oh, no kidding. It's hard to believe. His name is Paxton. Paxton Tat. Nice he's become a, you. like I said, this department, each year it's gained two or three percentage points. It's yeah. up to about 20, 22% now of our, our revenue. We get so many what we call hot jobs, last minute jobs. Of course. The reason we're getting those is because other people can't do it. When we got the next press, it opened doors to a lot of things that we couldn't do before. Sure. It's got fifth color stations, light black, the red unit, dimensional clear, gold, they're white. The is white is, I'm excited for that, yeah. And on their long sheet feeder, it's it's a great piece of equipment that really brings digital printing to the, to the next level. All right, Dale, let's go print some posters. Let's do it. So I know you deal with a lot of us picky designers that oh, yeah. want our colors right and our format correct and everything. With this machine, I mean, I'm actually bringing out the actual piece. So you can stand right here and say, Dell, I don't like that. I don't like this. No problem. We'll go right back there. We'll get into the file. We'll change it. And within a few minutes, I'll have you another one out here. Our yellow is a little green. So we changed that fifth imaging unit. That's that what fifth, that red unit does. The red unit, which then brought this closer to yellow. Mm -hmm. And honestly, it brought the red to life a little more. It's amazing what it does to it. Yeah. Pop, pop. Um, so I think we're ready to roll now. Oh yeah, look at that. Here they come. You know, Tad, one of the great things about this, the color of the last one is gonna be just like the color of the one you're holding in your hand. It's still warm, fresh hot print. Well, I can't wait that they, they're hanging on walls and people go up and they look at that post and they go, you know what? That's gonna help someone. You get a book drive and you're gonna take books down there. It's a privilege to be able to to help affecting a life of a child that changes their entire future. Uh, there's nothing more great.
gratifying. It's a beautiful thing. Print for good, right? Oh, absolutely. Print, print for is, good. Print is good. Print is here to stay. Absolutely. We're printing, making something exactly. for you. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, very good. It's fantastic. Absolutely. Fantastic. Great. So awesome. Another great story of a commercial printer finding new ways to thrive in a changing world and give a little something back to it, too. I'm Tad Carpenter. Take so long for now. And remember to press on.